welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna go over a full Notion tutorial as well as how to organize and use it, etc. Seriously, spent so much time trying to like understand this and learn it. So hopefully you won't struggle as much as I did and hopefully you can set up a really nice Notion template and have it all set up and really just organize your life. And also, if you don't know what Notion is, it is just a way to organize literally everything. You can put your calendar on there, you can put a habit tracker, your finances, just like everything like in one place. You can even make like, kind of like Google Docs, but it's like in Notion and it's honestly like pretty cool. Obviously, I still really recommend just writing things out, like having a journal to write things out, but in other aspects, like doing like a full blown like five year plan or stuff like that, I feel like Notion is so helpful. So I really like it. So I'm here to share you guys my knowledge. So in this video, I'm just gonna show you how you can actually get started with Notion and also how you can use all the basics as well as learning how to customize your very own page. So that's really exciting. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this intro. Let's just hop right into it. Okay, so to sign up and get started, all you have to do is go to notion.so and all you have to do is just make an account with them. You can sign in with your email. That's what I personally did and it will get everything set up for you and it will bring you to this page that we're seeing now. You can see that it's the getting started page and there are so many like tutorials on here as well that you can look through and the thing that was most confusing to me i was like okay like i see all of this like how the heck do you get from this to this which is like what i have now and i can quickly go over like this is like the point of where we're gonna get to so this is personally mine it has this inspire cover letter because i personally want to inspire everyone this year that's like my main mission and all of that and then i have my name i have my daily quick links music i have a habit tracker 2021 affirmations vision board i have this whole like milestone slash get it done task thing i have this work and this could also work for if you're a student you can do like assignments as a student i have a calendar and then i have like TikTok and YouTube ideas to put down so that is kind of like where we're gonna get to and I'm gonna show you like step by step so yeah going back to this I was very confused and the key to this is using templates and what I basically did is like put a ton of different templates into one so if you go to templates using notion you can see that there's so many that you can use so there's like specific ones if you work like in design education engineering product management, etc. And you can just like use any of these. And the way you actually use it is by clicking on use this template and then it will like pop up into your Notion. So let's say I wanna do a job board. So if I use this template, and then it's gonna show up on the side folder of my Notion. So we see it like right here. And then this is what's like being created. But to be honest, I didn't really use any of these Notion ones just because I just didn't find them like as interesting. So what I personally recommend is going through Google and searching for free Notion templates. And there's so many templates and I will link all the ones I personally used. And again, I just meshed them together, which I'm going to explain how to do all that. But there's just like so many, like for example, I found this one which had like 10 of them. So again, let's say that you do want like a journal. So it's gonna open you to this like Notion template and all you have to do to get it into yours is click on this du duplicate and then click on it and then it's gonna get it over to your Notion. And another thing I recommend is duplicating a home template just because you kind of want a home template to kind of link you to all your other things. So a good one that I actually found was through TikTok. And there's like so many through TikToks. And there's just like so much that you can find. So I specifically found this one through TikTok. And again, I'll link everything down below. So then again, you can just duplicate it and it'll be in your Notion. So then you can just play around with it, delete stuff. And I'm just going to go over how to do that with my personal one. Okay, so starting off, the very first thing that you can actually do with Notion is change covers. So you can go to change covers and there's like so many different options that you can go through or you can actually upload, which is kind of what I did. I personally just created this through PicMonkey, but you could also create anything through Canva and upload your own image. You can do a link 
anything to change this image and you could also use the reposition to kind of like position it like how you want so you can do whatever you want there and then also right here you can click and change the little emoji so you can make it like whatever you want honestly and then moving forward to titles or just text so let me just show you guys what you need to do for these type of things is type this little slash command and then it's gonna give you like so many different options of what you can do but the ones I find like the most helpful were the text so you can just type text through here and then I also really like doing the to-do list so that's how you create like a to-do list so you can write like to do and then you can check it off like so uh, oh, and then to delete, you can just press this and click delete. And to add, I just usually just press enter and it gets me to a new line. So then you can also do um, a new page to embed a different page into that page. And then you can do like different headings. So if you want like a big heading, you can do that. Um, if you want, obviously, a smaller heading, you can do this one. Um, and then you can also do bullet lists, which I find really helpful. You can do numbered. And then I also find toggle lists very helpful because you can write like, I don't know, like how I wrote YouTube ideas. And then if you want to open this up, you can just click here and then you can type in something new here. So if you want another to-do list there or a bullet list, you can just kind of do whatever you want within this toggle another cool thing to know is the way you change all the fonts is by going up to this three dots and they can actually change all your fonts this way to what, whichever font you like i honestly just like this default one but i may change it later on but that's like also a really good thing to know and then over here i have put in like different templates that i found into my home page and if you're wondering how to do that you actually just press on the sidebar and then all your templates are going to be here like for example i don't have this task list on my template and the way that you get it on your home page is that you just click and drag it to go to your home page and then you will see it pop up here also if you want to let's say duplicate like this template then you can actually duplicate it like that you can also copy the link you can rename it and then also you can move it to a different template. So let's say I want to move it to my finance tracker, then I can move it into that template. Another cool thing to know is that you can change the emojis on this. So if you want to change it again, you can just change it and make it personalized however you want, which is really cool. Next, I wanted to show you how I created these like columns because I did not know how to do that. So basically all you have to do is like, let's say you want a column just for the Spotify template, then you just like drag and go to the side and then it will create that column for you. So it's so simple if you want to do that. Let me put it back in. And also the way that you create this Spotify template, all you have to do is go to your Spotify and let's say that you want like a steady music one. So all you have to do is copy this link playlist. So you're just going to do copy album link and then from here you're going to paste it and then you're going to just create embed and then it's going to create it for you, which is really awesome and again, really simple to do. And also the same goes for any website really. I just went to this website right here, which includes the Pomerado timer and I literally just copied and pasted it and put it again, just like how I did the other one, create embed and then it does it for me, which again, I think is very cool and you can do it for any site. Okay, so moving forward to this habit tracker, I just found this in another template. Again, I will link down everything below. And all I did was just like copy this whole thing over and then I just did move to and then I moved it to this home page. So that's how I got it on here. And then moving down, I have these 2021 affirmations, which I just put like things that I want to do this year. So I just put them as I am so I can get into the mindset that like this is real, this is real life and this is how I am. So I'm already going towards that goal if that makes sense. So those are kind of like my goals this year and that's a little personal but 
That is true. And then moving forward to this part, which is probably one of my favorite parts, is this vision board. And the way I created it was actually going to pick monkey. And you do have to pay for this, but if you don't have pick monkey, you can do it through Canva and it's literally like the same thing. I just personally use pick monkey because it has more features, but you totally don't need pick monkey to do this. So I set the dimensions to be 1280 by 600 and that worked very well for Notion. And I literally just went to Pinterest and found any inspiration that I wanted through there and put them on here. And that is how I created this vision board. And then the way that you add this, I literally just dragged and dropped and it adds pictures for you. And then moving forward, I have this like whole like weekly layout and then things to get done that day. I personally like using my journal better, but if you want things like more digitally, then you can do this as well. So I kind of just use this using those like templates that I found and then moving things over and kind of just like making my own columns, etc. So that is specifically what I did. There's milestones, things to get done, and then tasks to do Monday through Friday. And then I did want to show you guys in this part how to do this like highlighting thing. So let's say you want to film a video and the way that you make it like a different color is that you click on the dots and then you click on color and then there's so many like background colors that you can create that will make it look like that weekly review that we just saw and then you could also change like the actual color of the text so then i did the same thing for this outstanding tasks and again you can just personalize using different colors and then this work one could be used as like a study one which i thought was kind of cool it has like the name if you completed it a due date tags number of points and the links and files to it and i did not create this personally again i just copied and pasted it through a template but i thought it was really cool and neat to do and then you could also add calendar and the way that you add a calendar is actually very easy so i wanted to show you guys go to the ad and then you just go to calendar and then there's two options which is calendar inline and calendar full page Full of page means that it's going to take you to a brand new page where you're only going to see the calendar. So like kind of like a new template. And inline is kind of like what I have here. So it's in my home. So it's going to create it right there. So if you want like another calendar, it's just going to create it down here. So that is how you create a calendar. And then you can just like add things to it by just clicking the add button. And then you can just like add item here and then over here I have like a toggle to put like any YouTube ideas or TikTok ideas and then check it off as I go so that's also like really really great and then lastly I did want to show you guys like kind of what I have for like finance because I think it's like very cool to have like your finances on here so I have right here if you click on finance this is like very awesome because you can record what you are spending and also what you're earning you can put different categories your accounts you can also do like a wish list so like recently if I want something I just like put it on here and then I let it sit for a while instead of just like instantly buying which is like a big problem of mine so if I do buy it then I just go to like got but these are just like things that like I'm thinking about buying so I did that and then I quickly wanted to show you guys like this expense record for February so this is all like fake data by the way just because I didn't want to put all like my personal stuff on here obviously but it is very cool because you can track how much you are spending and then you can also sort by like category amount dates etc which is very cool so if i do like name I'll like sort it for me so it's kind of like excel which is very cool and then you can do the same thing for income which is february and again this is like a fake number but you can sort if you want to and then it shows you like your total sum which is so awesome to just keep track of things like that so you can totally just create whatever you want on here it is kind of like a google doc but again everything's just like in one place i even have like a five-year plan that i created here where every year i have set like different things i want to accomplish that year so that is why i say like it's very cool to put these things on here because 
it's more like a high level of what you want to get done within like those five years and look at it every day to get inspiration and also if you specifically want to use this template i don't really know how to create templates yet but if you're interested in having this one specifically let me know and i will figure that out for you guys i'm just not sure if like enough of you are interested but if you guys are, let me know in the comments down below and I can figure out how to create a template. So yeah, that is pretty much it for my Notion tutorial. I really hope that this inspired you to make goals and get more organized with your life so you can achieve those goals and literally live your best life. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this video and I will see you next week. Bye guys!